Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders, for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the U.S. session. Today is June 7, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be June 8, 2021 in London. Today we'll be going over S&P 500, gold, and also oil. I'll be giving you some of the levels that I'll be looking at. Uh, for those who like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. For those who are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Again, for those who are, thank you guys very much for watching. Really appreciate that. Um, if you guys have any questions, again, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But with that said, let's go ahead and hop into it. So, as we can see, S&P 500, a couple things that we did have for the U.S. session. We did have a move from our resistance, these 2950s, to pull all the way down to our main level of support, 4214. And then from there, we got a nice long opportunity all the way back up into these 422950s. And you can see, popped a little bit above it, but again, we are back below it. So again, we may go into a range. And again, we know how we're going to play that range. We're going to look to sell high. To try to come back down to the middle of the range, which is right between these 2021s, and then buy low, which is right at these 14s. Now, if we break, if we hold this 14, that's going to be our good opportunity to buy off that level. But if we break through that level, come down and reject it, this is our next support area down below, 41.97 as support. Now, again, <clears throat> I like the long opportunity from 42.14. Did have a nice long opportunity from there. Did have a good short from S&P this morning, but didn't hold it long enough. We did pull all the way down. Took a little bit of time to get us back down to that support, but we did get that opportunity once it came into our support level. Um, so, want to see if we reject it right in this area, get that resistance to pull up, and then we're going to be looking for that continued short opportunity back to the downside from there now there is minor levels in between but really not going to go over that for you guys if you guys struggle with that if you guys want to know more about those minor levels feel free to pop in here with us at pure structure trading or take some coaching we can definitely teach you guys a little bit about that um, but underneath those 42 14s 4197 is going to be my next area of support that i'll be looking for Below that, 4181.25 and then 4167.50. Uh, let's take a look at a smaller chart here on S&P for you guys. So up on this smaller chart, I'm going to look for the market to come back into this area. Maybe give one or two more rejections if it fails to go through. I'm going to be looking for that short to come back down. Again, still bullish, so here's our support. So this is where we're going to be looking for mid-level and then extension all the way up for those that support opportunity. Um, now, if we don't get that, again, we're going to be looking for that support to come in here at 41.97 as a good opportunity to try to take that upside from there. Um, if you are looking for the short side, again, 42.29.50 definitely could be an opportunity um, underneath these 42.14. Let's see what could actually happen here which is getting that rejection here and then 42.14 uh, getting that nice rejection there for a short opportunity back to the downside uh, into 41.97. That could be your short if you want to try to do the momentum trading uh, against the trend. Um, however, below, above these 42.29.50s, I'm going to be looking for that support to come in and then take the move to the upside from there. So that's going to be my opportunity of a long on top of this level here at 42.29.50 for a continuation. Um, let's go ahead. With that said, though, that is it for S&P. Let's go ahead and look at gold here real quickly. So gold, we did have a quite a bit of movement. We did have nice opportunity that came on gold right around these. Uh, well, we fell as low as 1884.5, uh, and then we started to move back up. We had this level. Um, in the morning, right around these 1890.9s, uh, market fell below that into somewhere around these, I believe this is somewhere around 89.2-ish, right around 88.9 to 89.2. Um, that's one trade that we had, which we got the market to get us stopped out here. But then from there, we had nice long opportunities from here to try to move it back up and then get the extension we actually got it to move all the way into these 1899s, then above that into 1903. Just it really didn't stop right here at this uh, resistance level. It just kept going right through, which was a very nice opportunity of a trade. So um, for gold, we may be looking for the market to try to come back down into some supports. 1894.3 may be a target level for me. We may even hold 
uh, another area of support. I'm going to probably point this one out, 97.6, as a, an area of interest for me uh, that we may have support at. So I'm going to be patiently waiting to see if we get that opportunity uh, to get the support there. If not, we'll look for the support to happen around 94.3, below that 1890.9, and then below that 1885.6. Point, uh, six to 1884.5 this is going to be a key level of support down here so we'll see what the market actually gives us around that area um, we could adjust it however we're just going to kind of keep it here we'll adjust this just a little bit for you guys <clears throat> so we have a better area it's right around 1890 to about 90.42 about uh 90.9 is my area of support. So we adjusted that line there for you guys. Let's take a look at a smaller chart for you guys so you guys can see where we're currently at. Uh, so with this here, you can see we're pulling down into our support of 97.6. Want to see the market actually catch the support there. This is going to be... It will be a major level if we get that support and try the upside. If not, we'll look for that to come back down into these 94.3s. And if not, We'll look for those 1890.4s as another area of support as the market's trying to move down. We'll try to catch some of that upside on the way uh, back to the upside there. Now, uh, for the shorts, you could look for if the market does come back into this area of 90.3 and rejects it, this could be an opportunity to try to short that right back down. That could be an interesting level for me, so I am going to highlight that as a potential resistance area that I'm going to be looking at. Uh, definitely going to be an opportunity for me. But let's go ahead and take a look here at oil for you guys as well. Um, up, well, actually, before we go on, above that 1903.3 on gold, again, we could see 1911.8 and the 1916.5 as other opportunities uh, for resistance above that area. Let's take a look at oil here. We did have some resistance, 69 uh, 68 and the market started to fall from that level. We're underneath prior level of support 68.98 and 68.84. I uh, want to see those two areas act as support and we got some opportunities where it did act as some support uh, for a little bit here, here and also here. But the market is now underneath that level. I want to see this market continue to reject and pull to its next level 68.28. That is going to be the target on the downside move for all of those looking to trade oil. Look out for the oil to move into those 6828s as the target level on the downside. Um, let's take a look. Well, actually, you could you could look for a long there once we get into this area um, and then try to bounce it back up. But for right now, because you're below, it might be better to try to look for the short to come down. Again, still slightly bullish, so you want to keep that in mind. If you are looking for a trade long, then your long opportunity is 6828 or get this market to come back above these 6898s and then try the upside from there if we hold 6898. Uh, so those are going to be some opportunities that we have for trading on oil. Let's take a look at a smaller chart here on oil for you guys. So you guys can see a couple rotational rejections that took place here on oil happening right here. One time, two times, couldn't get past those 6880s. And then started to fall again. Going to be looking for this thing to come a little bit deeper here into those 6828s, and then from there look for a buying opportunity. So once we get down into this area, I really want to see maybe a double bottom rejection and then a continuational move to the upside or back to the upside. If not, then we may break down below this area, get this rejection under 6828, and then try to see if it can fall to our next level, 6747. So it could be some good opportunities. Outside of having a long at 6828, again, above those 6898s, that's going to be my opportunity of a long as well. So uh, I will look for the market to come back up there, hold this area as support here, and then try that long opportunity from there to come back into the middle and then also come back into the top. So again, that is it for S&P 500 gold and also oil. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos. If you guys do, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe for all of those who are. Thank you guys very much. Really appreciate that. Any questions you guys have? Feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. Um, for those who are part of Pure Structure Trading, I will see you guys in the London session for today. Um, 
if you guys aren't and you guys continue to trade make sure you guys trade well other than that guys you guys take care have a great night Bye.